Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the scapula bone. So, see this diagram. You will be knowing this is the anterior view of the scapula bone. You, we are seeing the scapula bone from front. Okay. So, it is the anterior view of the scapula. Okay. So, you are able to see this is the medial border of the scapula. What I am tracing now is the medial border of the scapula. Right. And right now I am tracing the lateral border of the scapula. Lateral border of scapula. And one more border of the scapula is the one I am tracing now called as superior border. Okay. So these are the three borders of the scapula bone. Okay. So have a orientation of for this diagram which is superior inferior medial and lateral direction okay so easily you can come to the conclusion this is the scapula of right side okay this is the right scapula actually there are some points which will help us to determine the side of the scapula uh, let's see okay fine so i hope you are clear about the three borders of the scapula from this diagram medial border lateral border and superior border isn't it and can you tell me the three angles of the scapula three angles of the scapula yes this area is called as this pointed area is called as superior angle of scapula superior angle angle means pointed area it is the junction between the various borders so superior angle of scapula is the meeting point of superior border and medial border and right now I am marking the obviously the inferior angle of scapula, which is the meeting point of medial and lateral borders. Fine. And what about the another angle, lateral angle? Yes. Right now I am highlighting the lateral angle of scapula. Actually, as you see in this diagram, the lateral angle of scapula is not pointed. It is actually enlarged to form one shallow depression called as glenoid cavity so please remember the lateral angle of scapula is enlarged to form one shallow depression called as glenoid cavity okay fine so i hope you are clear about the three borders as well as three angles of the scapula right now let me talk about the three processes of the scapula what do you mean by processes yes projections projections okay so right now i am highlighting the acromion process of the scapula ap is representing acromion process of scapula fine acromion process fine and now i am marking one projection from the scapula bone in idea yes this is the coracoid process of scapula cp representing coracoid process of scapula okay so you can very clearly see and understand from this diagram the coracoid process of scapula is projecting forwards anteriorly or forwards right okay and other than coracoid process and acromion process there is one more bony projection present in the scapula but on the dorsal aspect of the scapula so this is the dorsal view dorsal means posterior posterior so in the dorsal view of the scapula that is posterior view of the scapula right now i am marking one projection called as spinous process or simply called as spine of scapula so this is also the scapula of the right side only right scapula only fine so i told you this is right scapula and this is from the posterior view isn't it so this is medial aspect this is lateral aspect this is superior this is inferior isn't it okay fine now so very clearly you can see the spinous process of the scapula continues laterally as what acromion process isn't it you cannot see the coracoid process here because coracoid process as i told earlier it is projecting forwards anteriorly isn't it fine so 
we have discussed with the three processes of the scapula three borders of the scapula and the three angles of scapula fine and i want you to know two surfaces of the scapula obviously in this view anterior view of the scapula this is the costal surface the anterior surface of scapula is also known as costal surface of the scapula fine so what will be the name of the name of the uh, surface you are seeing here this one this one as well as this one this whole surface of the scapula is exactly dorsal surface isn't it dorsal surface of scapula but you can see the dorsal surface of scapula is interrupted by the bony projection called as spinous process isn't it so the dorsal surface is divided by the spine of scapula into two areas i am marking as number one which is above the spinous process of the scapula and number two which is just below the spinous process of scapula so what will be the name of this areas number one and number two above the spinous process is called a supra spinous fossa the depression it is a depressed area so it is called a supra spinous fossa fossa means depression and just below the spinous process are you able to see the large area larger area comparatively yes that is called as infra just below the spine so called as infra spinous fossa fine yes okay fine and please remember the two notches of the scapula other than the three borders two surfaces three angles okay I want you to know the three, sorry, two notches of the scapula. Notches means also depressions, depressions. Okay. So I have told you already the shallow depression you are seeing here, which is directed laterally, is called as glenoid cavity, isn't it? And so can you see one depression in between the spine of scapula and glenoid cavity of scapula? One depression. What will be the name of this depression? Notch actually. Since it is located between the spine of scapula and glenoid cavity, it will be called as yes, spinoglenoid notch. Okay, so one notch of the scapula is spinoglenoid notch. You can understand why it is called a spinoglenoid notch, isn't it? Okay, and another notch, another depression you can see in this diagram in the ventral view, anterior view of scapula. So, if you trace the superior border of scapula, it will continue as one depression, the one I am marking now. What is this depression called as? Yes, it is located along the superior border of the scapula. So, it is called a suprascapular notch. Suprascapular notch. Okay. So, I hope you are clear about the location of the two notches. One is supra, one is spinoglenoid notch. And another one is suprascapular notch. Okay. Fine. And one more important thing about the suprascapular notch. Actually, the suprascapular notch will be converted into one foramen. Obviously, it will be called as suprascapular foramen. Okay. This ligament, because of attachment of one ligament along the suprascapular notch this okay this actually this ligament is called a suprascapular ligament because of the location suprascapular ligament okay otherwise transverse scapular ligament whatever okay so the question that may be asked to you is just above the suprascapular ligament one artery passes above the ligament that is suprascapular artery okay and just below the suprascapular ligament one nerve passes just below so what will be the name of the artery passing above and the nerve passing just below the suprascapular ligament exactly the artery is suprascapular artery suprascapular artery and the nerve is suprascapular nerve okay so please remember suprascapular artery passes what just above the suprascapular ligament suprascapular ligament okay a for a that that is how they will be telling us to remember okay a for a suprascapular artery passes above the suprascapular ligament whereas 
whereas suprascapular nerve passes just below below okay below the suprascapular ligament okay this relation of the nerve and the artery to the suprascapular ligament is actually important fine so i hope you are clear about the various parts of the scapula isn't it what are the borders surfaces angles processes and notches of the scapula now you should be able to decide the anatomical position and the side determination of the scapula if the scapula is given to you you should be able to say whether it is of right side scapula or left side scapula isn't it so what are the three important points that will help us to determine the side of the scapula bone yes number one the most important feature is glenoid cavity we know glenoid cavity is a shallow depression okay and it should be it is normally facing in which direction yes it faces laterally and you will find in your textbook forwards slightly upwards and all but the main thing is the glenoid cavity faces laterally isn't it and one more thing you know the spinous process or spine of scapula what is the location of the spinous process is it located anteriorly or posteriorly on the scapula yes it faces posteriorly that is also one important point spinous process faces posteriorly isn't it fine and one more process called as coracoid process isn't it what is the direction of coracoid process yes it faces anteriorly by looking at these three important parts of the scapula and orienting in the directions you can decide the side of the scapula whether it is right side or left side okay 